In this video, we're going to introduce expected value. Expected value is closely related to averages, so we're going to start with some simple examples to kind of tease out that relationship. Let's say I want to know the average on an exam, and there's a lot of repetition. So three students got 70% and two students got 50%. The usual way to compute an average is to add all of these up and divide by the number of them that there are. So we could call this 70 plus 70 plus 70 plus 50 plus 50, and there were five students. So that's one way of making the average. A somewhat more efficient way is to say, well, this is 3 times 70 plus 2 times 50 divided by 5. 3 fifths of the students got a 70 and 2 fifths earned a 50. So it's the same calculation. It's all, it's all just an average. But if we do it in the second way, in different situations this can be easier to uh, to calculate. This is sometimes called a weighted average. There, You can think of this as there being two scores. One score is 70 and one score is 50. They're weighted by how frequently they were earned. Three-fifths of the time 70 was earned and two-fifths of the time 50 was earned. And this will give you the same number as the ordinary sort of way of taking an average that you learned probably in elementary school. If we do the computation this way, we can also call this an expected value. If I were to say, I don't know actually how many people took the exam, but I know three-fifths of them got a 70 and two-fifths of them got a 50. Maybe it wasn't five people, maybe it was 100. Then I could still kind of calculate this number and we would call it an expectation or an expected value. And you can think of this as an average over a whole bunch of events. So this would in this case be the sum over all possible values of the value times the probability of it happening. So here one value is 70, the probability of getting a 70 is 3 fifths, one value is 50, the probability of getting 50 is 2 fifths. This line here is the definition of an expected value or expectation for a discrete random variable. Let's do another example. This time I want to calculate an expectation, but I don't actually know how many events have occurred. Now this is uh, based on a sort of famous example, if you Google it, it's fun to read about, uh, of a lottery that a lot of people made a lot of money on, just because they knew how to calculate expectations. So a ticket costs $2, and you get one of these four prizes. You could get $27 and the odds of that happening are 1 in 50. You could get $800, you could get $22,000, or you could get no money. And most of the time, you do get no money. But let's think about what the average ticket would win. So again, I don't know how many tickets we have. Maybe there's a million, maybe there's 40,000, but I can still try and figure out if there were a whole bunch of tickets, what would the average ticket win? And I do the computation the same way. So I'm going to take the sum over all possible values. So here my variable is how much money the ticket wins. And I multiply the value times the probability of actually winning that much money. So one value is 27. And the probability of winning $27 is 1 in 50. So if we were to buy a million tickets, say, I would be pretty certain that 1 in 50 of them a 50th of them, or 2% of them, would win me $27. Another possible value is $800. And the number of tickets that I expect to win that are 1 in 800 of every ticket. Another possible value is $22,000. And I expect, if I, take a, if I got 40,000 tickets, I expect one of them would get that. If I had 80,000, I would expect two of them, and so on. And then zero dollars times, well, it doesn't really matter what the probability is because we're multiplying it by zero. But for the sake of being thorough, 39,149 divided by 40,000. So if I were to buy a whole bunch of these tickets, this is how much money I would expect to win on the average ticket. Now the, the point of this is to set it up not to figure it out, so let's defer to a calculator here. So the average ticket won $2.09. Now the reason this is famous is because $2.09 is bigger than $2. <laughs> now I've made the numbers just a little bit nicer 
from what they actually were. The actual winning was actually a couple cents more than this. And uh, if you go back to the first slide, there's a clickable link if you're interested. In. A lot of people figured out that this was actually a good bet, that if you only bought one ticket, you were quite likely to lose your money. But if you bought a whole bunch of them, you were quite likely to actually make a small overall profit. And that's exactly what a lot of people did. They formed co-ops and they bought up you know, hundreds of thousands of tickets and made a whole bunch of money. So again, the thing we comp just calculated is the expected value of this random variable. It's a discrete random variable. And it was 2.09.